and welcome to the Rosetude series. Today we're going to look at the Rosetude number 26. So first, let's look at the score. Key signature, C minor. So we have B natural actually, E flat and A flat. Tempo, Allegro Furioso. So the tempo we call a multiple 120 on your metronome. Time signature, C or 4-4. Four, four. We have four quarter notes per measure. Dynamics, forte. Articulation, slurs and staccato. Breath more, some are already written, so use it. Type of etude, it's a technical etude. It's a really fun one. So how to practice this etude? First, practice slowly. Divide and start at 8 notes equal 80 on your metronome and make your way up to 132. Then try to play that quarter note equal 80 and progressively make your way up to 120. Practice one melodic line at a time, from one breath mark to another. Don't move on to the next line until notes, rhythm, dynamics and articulation are controlled. Make music. Think of what an opera singer would do with this line. You can try to sing it too. When the two first lines are controlled, put them together. Then work on the third line and add it to the two previous lines and so on. So a few tips before starting to practice this etude. Let's look at measure two here. We have E flat on the right pinky. So what comes before has to be on the left, okay? So here, because of that E flat, a lot of things are gonna happen, but pretty much we're gonna have to take the B natural on the right, so the C on the left. That's what's happening. So I'll play it. Another measure, measure three. Here, same thing. We have a lot of E flat in that piece, actually. So E flat is gonna have, be on the right pinky, so the C that comes after will be on the left. So I'll just play it. Here we have a chromatic fingering. Here, it, same thing, you could do B to B flat or A sharp just by switching the fingers, but we have chromatic fingering using the fourth finger, so it will work well here. So let's play it. <laughs> Another measure, measure 10. Here, same thing, we have E flat on the right pinky, so C after will be on the left, same thing. Another measure, measure 33. So here we have to take the, and it's just better if you take the C on the left and the B on the right. So I'll just show you. Another measure, just the measure after measure, 34. Here, same thing, we have a lot of E flat on the right and all those C's will be on the left. still the same, right pinky, and then we have a B that we're going to take on the left, okay, B natural here. Alright, so that was it for the tips. A few things, a lot of E flat on the right. So now we're going to have to play the piece. I'll play it, you can follow along the score and I hope it will help you play it a little better. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 